All right, so in this video, I'm going to go through the chapter four test review um, and mark through the problems. Skip around, only do the ones that you need some help on. You don't have to sit here and watch this whole video. So number one, find the slope of the line through each pair of points. So for slope, I need rise over run. So from 10 to five, that's going to be minus five, right? Because that's going down five. And then from seven to negative 13 is going to be a difference of negative 20. All right, again, if you um, have trouble figuring out the difference, difference means subtract. So I subtracted 5 minus 10 is negative 5. Negative 13 minus 7 is negative 20. So use your calculator to do the subtraction if you can't figure it out in your head. All right, and then it's rise over run. So negative 5 divided by negative 20. And I need to simplify. And this becomes 1 fourth. So the slope is 1 fourth. Then we are going to write the slope intercept form of the equation. Remember slope intercept form all right, is y equals mx plus b. And I need to fill in the slope and the y intercept. All right, the y intercept I can get just by looking at the graph. So this graph crosses the y axis right here at negative three. So I know I'm gonna have negative three in my equation. Then I need the slope all right, and to get the slope, I need to count between two points. So I need to find another point on the line um, that is right on the corner, okay? And so here is another one. So I'm gonna count between these two points. So rise first, so down one, two, three, and over one, two, three, four. So that means my slope is negative three over four. And then I'm gonna fill in the X and the Y in my equation, and there it is. Got to do the same thing here. So the y-intercept is right there. It's negative four, okay? And then I need two, I need another point on that line, all right? And I have one right here. So I'm gonna count up one, two, over one, two, three. So that means my slope is two thirds, up two, right three. So y equals two thirds x minus four. Then we have some equations that we're asked to put in slope intercept form. So basically here I'm asked to solve for y. So 3y equals negative three x plus six. The only thing I have left to do to get y by itself is divide everything by three. And when I do that, I get y is equal to negative three divided by three is negative one. So I'm gonna write it as negative x. You can write negative one x if you choose. And then six divided by three is two. So negative x plus two. Okay, number five. Um, here we have to do both steps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move the x to the other side. So now I have seven y equals negative three x plus 21. And then my last step is divide. So I gotta divide everything by seven. Y equals negative three over seven is simplified as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then 21 divided by seven is three. Then number six, this is in point slope form and we're gonna change it to slope intercept form. Remember we said for this, there's two steps. Step one is distribute. So I'm gonna multiply 5 fourths times x and that's just 5 fourths x. And then 5 fourths times four is five. And then my last step is to add or subtract to get y by itself. So y equals 5 fourths x plus three. Okay, on the next page, we're still writing equations in slope intercept form, okay? But I still think that the easiest thing for you guys to do is to write it in point slope form and then change it, all right, rather than solving for b. So remember, point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'm gonna fill these in. This is my x1, this is my y1, and slope is always m. So. I have y plus five because minus negative is plus, okay? And that's equal to negative two fifths times x minus five, okay? So this is point slope form, but the question asks for the answer in slope intercept form. But we just did problems where we were changing. So first I'm gonna distribute. So I have y plus five equals negative two fifths x. And then negative two fifths times negative five is actually going to be positive two. Then on the last step is add or subtract to get y by itself. So I'm gonna subtract five from both sides. And y equals negative two fifths x minus three. 
All right, write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line through the given points. So this time we don't have the slope and we need to find it. All right, so from three to negative one is down four. From four to negative one is down five. So my slope is negative four over negative five and a negative divided by a negative is positive. So the slope is four fifths. Then I'm gonna do the same thing that we did up here. So I'm gonna plug it in in point slope form. Doesn't matter which point you use, I'm just gonna use the first one. So y minus three equals slope, which is four fifths times x minus four. Then we're gonna get it into slope intercept form. So distribute first. Y minus three equals four fifths x. Four fifths times negative four is negative 16 over five, okay? Remember fractions aren't wrong, they're just numbers. And then the next thing I need to do is add three to both sides. So I get y equals 4 fifths x, and then negative 16 fifths plus 3 is negative 1 fifth. All right, there's my final answer. Okay, next question asks me to write the point slope form. Okay, so this time we don't have to solve for y. We just got to plug it into what we said point slope was y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'm just plugging it in there. So this is x1, this is y1, here's my slope. So y plus four equals negative eight times x minus one. That's it, that's all you have to do. When it's in point slope form, stop right there. You don't have to do any more work. Okay, now we're given two points. So I have my x1 and my y1, but I need the slope. Okay, from negative one to negative four is down three from negative five to positive two is plus seven. So my slope is negative three over seven. So I plug that in, I have y, and I'm gonna use this as x1 and y1. So y plus one equals negative three over seven times x plus five. All right, write the equation of the vertical and horizontal line that passes through the point five, negative eight. All right, this is where you need to use Vux and hoy. So a vertical line is x equals. All right, so x equals, and if this is my point that it has to go through, well, on, at this point, x is equal to five, so the equation of the line is x equals five. Then for my horizontal line, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time it's y equals, and in this point, y equals negative eight, so the equation is y equals negative eight. All right, on the next page, we are doing some converting. All right, we already did some of these. So first step is distribute. So I have y minus two equals one sixth x plus three. Second step is add or subtract to get y by itself. So I have y equals one sixth x plus five. Okay, so from point slope to slope intercept, two steps, distribute and then add or subtract every single time. Okay, so same thing here. Distribute first, y plus three equals two x minus 16, and then add or subtract to get y by itself, y equals two x minus 19. All right, here um, I have just a y over here, but it's times four, so I'm gonna divide everything by four and I get y equals 3 fourths x, and then negative six over four would simplify to three over two. And again, it's okay to have a fraction as a y-intercept. There's no rule that says a line has to cross the y-intercept at an integer, at a whole number. Okay, here, two x minus four y equals 16, so the first thing I have to do is move the x. When I do that, I get negative four y, don't forget that sign, equals negative two x plus 16. And then my last step is going to be divide everything by four. Oops, I'm sorry, by negative four because I have negative four y. So y is equal to negative two divided by negative four simplifies to one half x. And then 16 divided by negative four is negative four. All right. This one, what is the slope of the line that passes through negative two seven and negative four nine? All right, well, slope is rise over run, so from seven to nine is plus two. 
from negative 2 to negative 4 is minus 2. So 2 divided by negative 2 would be negative 1. That's all you have to do on the quiz. Some of you guys are writing equations when the question just asks for the slope. Right? Read what they're asking you before you start doing a bunch of math. Write the equation of a line with slope 3 that passes through the point negative 7, 4 in slope intercept form. Again, I think the easiest thing to do is to write it in point slope and change it. That way we don't have to worry about solving for b and where do I plug things in. So in point slope, it would be y minus 4 equals 3 times x plus 7. And then we have two steps, distribute and then add or subtract. So distribute y minus 4 equals 3x plus 21. Then to get y by itself, I have to add 4 to both sides y is going to be equal to 3x plus 25. Okay, this time we're given two points. All right, so we've got to find the slope as our first step from negative 6 to negative 3 is plus 3. From 4 to 2 is minus 2, so our slope is going to be negative 3 halves. All right, so y plus 6 equals negative 3 halves times x minus 4. All right, first step is distribute every time, so negative 3 halves x. And then negative 3 halves times negative 4 is going to be 6. Then my last step to get y by itself is to subtract 6 from both sides, so y is equal to negative 3 halves x. And then 6 minus 6 is 0. So I could write plus 0 there, but I don't really need to because if I'm adding 0 to something, I'm not changing the number at all. Anything plus 0 is just this number, so I don't really need that. So it's just y equals negative 3 halves x. All right, then the last two on this page, we are writing the equation in point slope form. Okay, here I'm given two points, so first I have to find the slope from negative 3 to negative 4 is down 1. From 2 to negative 3 is down 5, so negative 1 over negative 5 would simplify to 1 over 5. Negative divided by negative is positive, then I'm going to plug it in point slope, so y plus 3 equals 1 fifth times x minus 2. That's it, point slope form, done, stop right there. All right, this time we're given a point and the slope, so I don't have any work to do, I just plug it in, y minus 7 equals negative 1 half times x plus 4. All right, here's some more practice with vertical and horizontal lines. So remember, vertical is x equals, and in this point, x is equal to 6. And then horizontal would be y equals, and in this point, y is equal to negative 8. All right. Which lines are parallel and which lines are perpendicular to y equals negative 4x plus 7? Um, parallel and perpendicular, I need the slope. To be able to see the slope from an equation, I have to put them in slope-intercept form. So, I've got to move the x. And then divide. So y is equal to negative 4x plus 3 halves. All right. This has a slope of negative 4. This has a slope of negative 4. So A is parallel. All right, same slope would mean parallel. And B, the only thing I have left to do is divide everything by 4. So I have Y equals 1 fourth X plus 3 fourths. All right, I have negative 4 and 1 fourth. Remember, anytime that there's no... Um, no, fraction, it's over 1. So negative 4 over 1 and 1 over 4, those would be what we call negative reciprocals because it's flipped over. So 4 over 1, 1 over 4, and then the sign is different. This one's negative, this one's positive. So these are perpendicular. All right, then the last one, I have to move the x. So 5y equals negative 2x plus 12, and then divide everything and y equals negative two-fifths x plus twelve-fifths all right from negative four to two-fifths they have absolutely nothing at all in common so they're not parallel they're not perpendicular they are 
neither. All right, then the last little set here, we're writing the equation from the graph again. Okay, so for line A, the y-intercept is right there. It is one, two, three. So I know I have plus three at the end, all right, and y equals. Then I need the slope, so I have to find another point on the line um, that's exactly on the corner. So I'm gonna go with right there, and I'm gonna count. So down one, two, three, so that means negative three over. And I move right two, so it's negative three over two x plus three. Then line B, here's my y-intercept right there. So this is negative one, two, three, four. All right, then I need my slope, so I gotta find another point. There's one right there. So it is up two over one. So two over one is just two. Two x minus four is the, slope, the equation for this line. Then here, these equations we're writing for vertical and horizontal lines. So A is a vertical line. Vertical line is x equals. And this is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6 on the x-axis. So it's x equals negative 6. B is a horizontal line. So it's y equals. And it's at negative 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis. So it's y equals negative 3. Okay, that's it for the review. Um, if you have questions, make sure you're asking on Remind or Twitter before the test on Monday.